Have you ever encountered a frustrating error while using an app, especially when you're just trying to enjoy some videos? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into the dreaded Android.OS.'s dead object exception error that many YouTube users face. I completely understand how annoying it is when your app crashes unexpectedly. You might be in the middle of watching your favorite video, and suddenly, everything freezes. You're definitely not alone in this struggle. Many users have reported similar issues. Let's take a closer look at the specific issue at hand. One user recently reported facing the android.os.dead object exception error multiple times while using the YouTube Android Player API. They provided details about their setup, including the version number and the error stack trace. Sound familiar? If so, let's explore this together. So what exactly is causing this error? The android.os.dead dead object exception typically occurs when a remote object is no longer available. This can happen due to various reasons, such as the service crashing or being killed by the system. We'll break it down step by step to help you understand. And don't go anywhere. Stick around until the end because I have a crucial tip that can help you avoid this error in the future. To address the dead object exception issue, the user should first check the YouTube Player API version they are using. It's important to ensure that they are using the latest version available. Next, the user should review their implementation of the YouTube Player. They need to ensure that they are properly managing the life cycle of the player especially during configuration changes. The user should also implement error handling in their code. This can help catch exceptions like dead object exception and allow for graceful recovery. Finally, the user should test their application on different devices and Android versions. This can help identify if the issue is device specific or related to a particular Android version. Did you know? The YouTube app is one of the most downloaded apps worldwide, but even the best can have hiccups. It's all part of the tech journey. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution from another user highlights that this issue is an internal problem with the YouTube player, which is expected to be resolved in the next release. They suggest tracking the issue through a provided link. The user explains that the dead object exception occurs when the YouTube player has been released unexpectedly. To handle this, they recommend wrapping your player calls in a try-catch block to catch the illegal state exception. If the exception occurs, you can create a new YouTube player instance by calling the initialize method. Here's the crucial tip I promised. Always keep your apps updated and regularly check for permissions. This simple habit can save you from many frustrating errors down the line. And there you have it. With these steps, you should be able to tackle the android.os.dead object exception error effectively. Remember, staying proactive with your app maintenance is key. If you found this video helpful, hit that subscribe button for more troubleshooting tips and don't miss our next video.